Hi, I'm Hank Thiele, the superintendent of Community High School District 99, and I want to give you a quick project overview of the master facility plan that we are now investigating and discussing within the community. This is the first of a series of, of videos that will talk about each of the aspects and themes running through the program. Our two campuses, uh, North High was built in 1928, and it's the oldest of our campuses, and it's also the most landlocked within the community, which creates a, a set of challenges at North High. South High was built in 1964, and part of its story is that it opened as a, a school for grades only nine and 10. And then that campus grew over time as the student body did, and that has created a, a, a different set of complications as we've built that uh, building over time. In District 99, we have a long history of improvements of our facilities, uh, which you can see here through this timeline. I want to highlight a few of these sections. If we go back to the beginning of the district, you'll see there's this repeating, about every 10 to 15 year period, there's a new investment in the facilities to modernize, expand, improve. So you'll see this in the early start of the district, and then once we add Downers Grove South in 1964, you'll say, see that same periodic uh, reinvestment in our schools, leading up to uh, just before the turn of the century was our last huge building project uh, in 1997 uh, across both campuses. We came back 10 years after that and did some more outdoor improvements and then some mechanical improvements inside. Right now we're at a point where the, the funding, the bonds that were there for the building in 1997 are about to roll off. And this is our opportunity to look and see do we, how do we reinvest in our schools again. Because we knew those bonds were going to roll off in 2019, back in 2011, as part of the strategic planning process, the Board of Education started looking at what should we do in the future to plan for our facilities. So you'll see this has been a discussion going on for six years, leading up to a conceptual plan with these ideas of, for our buildings that are contained inside. Once the Board received this last year, last fall, what they wanted to know is what does the community think of this plan? So we started a community engagement process that's been going on for the last year, which is culminating in these videos and eventually a survey that will go out to the community. As we went into this, this whole thing in 2011, what we were really looking at is what do our buildings need for the next century of teaching and learning inside of our walls? And teaching and learning has changed drastically, especially with the, the birth of the internet and computers and smartphones and all of the information that's available to our students. That's changed drastically what teaching and learning looks like inside of our schools. And I invite you to go onto our website and watch our Opening Doors series, which will show you some of those activities that happen in our classroom each day. Out of the, all of this work, and looking into the future, what emerges is really a few themes, and each of the videos in this series will highlight a different one of these themes. But for this, I wanna just go through the overview of the project. Over this, this month, we are having larger community meetings. You could attend one of those, or if you couldn't, you could watch these video series. But really, it's about informing our community before we go any further and getting their feedback. And that's really what you'll see here. For the last year, we've been through this, this phase of community engagement. We've formed task force, small groups, large groups, and we've had a lot of discussion around these plans, culminating in the survey that you'll receive in the mail. That'll come back to us. Our, com our group of 40 community members from a cross-section of the community will then look at all of that data and make a recommendation to me. And I will then go to the board with a recommendation for what comes next, and that'll happen in December. So why are we having these big discussions now? And the reason is in 2019, the bonds from 1997 will roll off. And it's our opportunity to, do, to reissue those bonds or reissue them at a slightly higher rate to take on all of these projects that would really modernize our schools moving forward. So this is the, the time to talk about it because there'd have to be an election uh, question asked next year 
as to whether or not the, the, the referendum should continue forward, the bonds should continue forward in the future. Uh, what we're looking at is really three different options in this plan right now. One is to do the entire project, and those pieces, as I've said, will be in these videos coming next. But the entire scope of the project for an average $300,000 home, which is the average home in our community, would be a tax increase of $65 per year. That's option number one. Option number two would be reduce the scope of the project, take things out of this project, although the, the staff, the students, those that we've talked to around this project are having difficulties identifying what should come out. We believe all of these are needs, not wants. But if we, we needed to, if the community felt we needed to reduce the scope, we could reissue those same bonds, bring in about $81.6 million worth of building capacity, and that would happen without a tax increase. Option three that's out there is the community chooses not to reissue the bonds. And if that happens, taxes would go down for the average, same average household of $132 per year. However, we would not have the capacity to really infuse funds to take on these facility plans. All of these projects would fall off. So in the future videos, the other videos that are in the series, we'll talk about safety and security. We'll talk about accessibility, air conditioning, what the modern learning spaces mean for teaching and learning in our schools, this concept of a learning commons, which might be new to you, but it's not new to schools in the area or across the country, and then talk about some inequities across the two campuses that we would like to close through this project. In the next few weeks, coming out to all households in the entire community, all taxpayers will have a survey with a fact sheet sent to them. We encourage you to fill out that survey, provide us your feedback about this plan. That's what the community task force will go through and all of the recommendations to the board will come through that process. So please let us know what you think now so that we can do the right thing later. Our website, uh, csd99.org slash MFP, has all of the information on it around this project and ways where you can learn more uh, going forward. And thank you for watching, and I hope you tune into the rest of the series.